deadling targets are ridiculously fast to store and share targets with your wingmen. This builds on the target point video, which is another way of storing and sharing targets. There are three ways to create deadling targets. You must either receive it from a wingman, which I'll cover with sending deadlings, laser range something on your schwal, or you can convert one of your target points to a daylink. You store a target with your schwal, either lock it with a laser on, or at least have a laser ranging as the schwal points at the target. On the PRTZ panel, press one of the four target type buttons at the top of the panel. Diamond is for armor, the slim house for SAMs and AAA, the square for other target types like buildings, and the white house for ingress points or maybe landmarks. Then press send mem. The panel's lights will go off and the new dialing target will appear in the ABRIS as the target type. The BVI 800 should not have a target point selected and the DL ingress button should be off. You can store up to four targets of every target type. As soon as you try to store the fifth, it will delete the dialing target number one of that type, reduce the numbers of the remaining dialing targets by one, then add the new item as number four. Just be aware that the numbers will shuffle and like target points, they aren't synchronized with your wingmen. You could go out of your way to coordinate that all sharks in your flight create and delete the same targets at the same time, in the same order, but that's probably a waste of time. With the PV-800 in operational mode, you can convert a target point to a dialing target. Press nav TGT, then a valid target point, then on the PRTZ panel, choose the target type, then send mem. This creates a dialing target of that type on top of the selected target point, regardless of where the schwal is currently pointed. The target point itself remains there as well, which will still always have the other type square box around it, regardless of what you set the overlapping daylink target to show. This isn't as really as useful uh, unless you wanted a visual indication of what type that target point is. To select the store daylink target, daylink targets require you cycling through that target type until you find the one you want. If your schwal is reset, in other words, the IT23 screen is blank. Then press the target type corresponding to that target you want to bring up, which has a target that type flicker on the ABRIS. Keep pressing it until you find the target you want. If your schwal is not reset and you had something locked up, for example, you may find that pressing target type button does nothing. You can work around it without needing to reset the schwal by pressing any of the second row of buttons. Then press target type, which will now function as normal. To select a dialing target with any method, the PV-800 must not have a target point currently selected or the PRTZ panel won't work. Also, DL ingress shouldn't be lit. Once you've selected a dialing target, you can delete it, slew your schwal over to it automatically, or share it with your wingmen on your dialing. After selecting a dialing target, pressing clear deletes that target from your ABRIS. With target points, you couldn't delete them, but you could change the coordinates. Dialing targets, you can only delete and create new ones. Deleting is useful to declutter after things have been destroyed or moved off. To slew your schwal to it, select the dialing target, press DL ingress, which switches off the other lights and keeps DL ingress lit. The number at the bottom of your HUD will display an estimated distance to the dialing target, which can be different from the laser ranging or whatever the schwal has ranged or locked up. The icon on the HUD scale will also now show the angle to the deadling target instead of the trimmed heading, schwal position, or your currently selected waypoint to airfield or my new fixed point. The next time you press uncage schwal, and if you reset your schwal, the first time you press uncage schwal every time, it will automatically hop to the deadling target if it can. If you press uncage again after that, it'll behave like normal and going into schwal scan mode or hop to your helmet site if that's down. Remember to switch DL ingress off when you're done with it, so your schwal doesn't uncage in ways you didn't expect. To share the target with a wingman, select the dialing target, then press one of the second row buttons. If you now press send mem, it'll send to the selected wingman on your same R800 radio frequency if their dead links are working. Like the workaround to select the dialing target while your schwal is out, if you press one of these second row buttons first, then select the target type, you only still have to press send mem. So generally I recommend always pressing the second row button first. Whether you want to delete, slew or share a target point, then pressing a target type and then clear deal ingress or send mem. This way you don't have to worry about did it select your target or not. Now I'm sending it to wingman. Deal to all sends it to everyone. 
However, every shark in your wolf pack should pick a unique Daylink ID number on this knob. You can also send a target to a specific shark, but instead of using DL to all, pressing the ID number of the shark you wish to send it to. On the Abris, their ID along with the selected target will flicker. Press send mem. If their dead link received the message, whether they stored it or not, the lights will go off. If sending to one shark ID and their dead link didn't receive it, being out of line of sight or their dead link is offline, then the send mem button will start flashing. This means they did not receive the message. Just press send mem again to switch off the flashing warning and try to send it again when you think their data link is restored. Sending it with deal to all will not warn you that some of the sharks may not have received the message. You can shoot targets without storing them to Abris first. Once you've laser arranged something, simply press the wingman's ID or deal to all and then send mem. They will receive the info as the other type and won't be stored on your Abris. If you want to use this method, do not press the target type first. Only one of the second row buttons, followed by send mem. If you have the laser armed, whenever you hold uncage with the helmet mounted sight and then release uncage, it automatically fires the laser and ranges again. Since this is all you need for a target point or a dead link, what you can do is hold uncage, move the helmet sight near the target, release, and if it ranged, press the wingman ID or deal tool and then send mem, and they'll have it, literally two buttons after acquisition. This is very useful if you want to quickly inform your wingman of a moving convoy before it escapes or to quickly pass off targets while you move on to the target you wish to engage. When receiving a Daylink target, the Daylink panel will light up with the target type you've been sent and the ID number of the wingman who sent it. Press send mem to store the contract to Abris or clear it to ignore and delete it. You might get an Elmar's text message in the top right saying what your cron and their cron will say receive DL target. Note, target points received by the data link are received as data link targets, not as target points, and they automatically have the other type. When you receive a message, you can also change the target type first, which changes the target type it's stored as. If you receive multiple messages without responding to them, then your data link will light up the most recent messages target type first and who sent it, which will also flash on the Abris. Once you send mem or clear that message, it'll show the second most recent message, etc. until you get to the oldest. Now, if you've made any changes to a target type and you received a new message before you could respond to it and press send mem, then your shark will remember that target type change. Now, another thing that you can do is you can press DL ingress before storing a message. Your next uncage will take you or shawl there as if you'd brought up a saved dialing target. Now you can see if it's a target that you want to save, then press send mem or clear if you don't wish to save it or you don't need to save it because you're about to kill it. Now you can combine this two button deal ingress and uncaging with the quick sharing of a located target whereby the guy that originally spotted it presses a second row wingman button followed by send mem and you receiving it. Press deal ingress and then uncage and this way each of you only press two buttons and your schwal is on point. And if you needed to, you could also use order turn to get you facing the right way if you weren't already. Since targets stored from your present location are more accurate, and if you're in a stable harbor and facing stationary targets and you want to strike with precision, you can deal ingress a received message, and cage to it, and clear the message. Slew around to refine the aim of your target, then choose a target type and store it yourself for perfect accuracy. Note if you have a target point currently selected and you receive a message and press deal ingress, it will first jump to the target point, then to the new day link that was received. Generally, I recommend turning off target points if you're dealing with a day link, so as not to confuse it. Storing and sharing day links targets is much easier and faster than target points on the BV-800. Your mission can't preload them though, and you can't create it by typing in coordinates like you can with target points. Day link targets do automatically appear in your Abris with iconography, this is Volk. Join me in the next video where I show you how to use all of this combined to accurately snap out three separate targets in three seconds. Cheers.